What inspires me about these things is innovation. I've always tried to be innovative. I like to uh, extend beyond my present domain and uh, as well I also like inventing things and learning about things. All with the spirit of innovation and invention. My name is Alicia Procello Maddox and I'm president of the Avery Denison Foundation. I'm here today in India to celebrate the Spirit of Invention Scholarship Award Ceremony. In this changing world, it is very important to give voice to innovators and entrepreneurs. Institute of International Education is very proud to be associated with Avery Denison Foundation to do exactly that. Through this scholarship program, we are reaching out to young innovators across engineering colleges in India, and then we are trying to give voice to those innovative ideas. We work with university partners to identify 10 students every year who are creative, who are inventive, and who inspire us, and we provide scholarships for them. We ask the students a question in our application. Tell us a problem and how would you solve it? And we judge these students based upon their answer. How creative are you? My idea is a wheelchair with a transferable seat. What it does is that it uh, makes it easier to transfer the disabled person from the wheelchair to car seat or to bed and vice versa. And the controls are in the hands of the person so he can himself shift uh, to the car seat or to bed. My project is uh, generally based on solar tracking. It's not so that we don't have solar tracking systems now, but the solar tracking systems we have are highly cost inefficient. My project idea provides a solution to this problem. It reduces the cost but yet maintains the efficiency. Crime is increasing at an alarming rate in our country. So my project uh, titled Secret, which is a secure route enhanced tracker, simply proposes to find the safest path between two locations by using the FIR records and the newspaper articles. You know, when these students, when they get right kind of mentorship and guidance during these scholarship years, this helps them to continue to work on their project ideas. We sincerely hope that these project ideas will become a realities of tomorrow. So we have two mentors who are guiding us in various aspects of a project. Uh, other than that, we've been also working on various workshops which are improvising our leadership skills, managerial skills. And you know, overall aspect of the program is to create leaders which bring a radical change to the Indian ecosystem. For me, one of the most favorite elements of the program was to get interact with the Avery Denison Foundation leaders like Alicia. During the visits at the plant at Bangalore, we got to know the factors they consider to design and manufacture the various labels. We had the idea that the project should be such that it should impact the overall society and after looking at the reactions that we are getting from the seniors, the faculty members, we are ourselves very confident that it, it will bring some change into the society. My favorite one was the Titanic rush. So what we were given was, we were given a situation in which uh, we were in a boat which just crashed. So there were a lot of things that we learned out of the situation, which is like leadership, teamwork, helping each other. We had an activity called Moonwalk. We were taught how a team has to work. We also got to know how that we have to strategize, plan, coordinate and work accordingly. So Avery Denison has provided us a platform in which they're supporting us monetary, plus they're inspiring us to work on the project. I think it's a great platform that uh, Avery has introduced to acknowledge engineering ingenuity of young minds such as us and to promote young inventors. The scholarship has certainly invigorated the entrepreneurial spirit in me and being a member of the Center for Entrepreneurial Leadership in Bitspilani, I've been in regular touch with startups and the entrepreneurial ecosystem as such. After winning the award, basically, my own perspective towards looking at the purpose of life changed. It gave me self-confidence. It gave me 
a thought process that was never with me before.